With the start of the 74th Marine Propulsion Technology Course MPCTC, at the Military Institute of Technology Millet, in Pune, the Indian Navy is making an investment in the future of its marine competence. 19 Indian Navy officers, for Indian Coast Guard officers, and 12 officers from friendly foreign nations like Namibia, the Philippines and Sri Lanka are all part of this esteemed program. Rear Admiral Nelson D'Souza, Commandant of Millet, highlighted the growing significance of specialized technology in the marine industry in his inaugural speech. He exhorted the student officers to actively assimilate this information and apply it to their next tasks. The MPCTC is carefully crafted to provide learners with the abilities and information needed to succeed in marine propulsion control. Beyond the basics, this course provides insightful exposure to innovative specialized technologies that are quickly revolutionizing the marine engineering industry. The terms and conditions of the Indian Navy's Megadeal for six conventional submarines under Project 75I initially prevented German submarine manufacturer TKMS or the ThyssenKrupp marine systems from bidding, but the company's India head, Khalil Rahman said on Wednesday, that the project's backing from the German government encouraged the company to enter the race. This was reported by the Hindu web portal. According to him, they just underwent an evaluation by the Navy, during which they effectively displayed the Air Independent Propulsion AIP capability, a crucial factor in the agreement, on their Type 212 submarine. TKMS has proposed a customized version of its Type 214 for the Indian Navy, ensuring stealth and technical strength. The sea-proven AIP will be handed over to the Indian Navy as per the request for proposal. The Indian Navy's Project 75i Mega Submarine deal, valued at over 43,000 crore rupees, has completed field evaluation trials FET, to ensure compliance with bids. The deal is between Germany's TKMS and Spain's Navantia. The German government is expected to take a stake in TKMS. Initially, TKMS chose not to bid due to commercial terms. As the search for the terrorists responsible for the ambush that killed five army officers in the Kathua district of Jammu and Kashmir started its third day on Wednesday, Authorities announced that at least 24 persons had been taken into custody for interrogation. Along with severe rains that come and go, the army and police are searching dense forests in four districts other than Kathua. According to an official, the search was launched from three different locations, Kathua, Uthmapur, and Butterva. As efforts to locate and neutralize the terrorists who are said to be hiding in a forest continue, security services claimed that they had detained 24 persons for questioning in relation to the ambush. According to the officials, another search operation is in progress in the Upper Dota district, where on Tuesday night, one day after the ambush in Kathua, there was gunfire between militants and security personnel. Officials report army and police personnel are deployed in dense forests across Uthmapur, Samba, Rajuri and Poonch districts, with fresh searches launched in Lalachak, Manjakot and Surankot areas. Specifically intended for high-altitude combat and operations in steep mountains and water bodies, the Zorawar light tank now boasts a unique rubber track system from the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. Among the conventional steel track designs with detachable rubber pads installed on MBTs like the Arjun MK-1A and other international designs, this rubber track system is a noteworthy innovation. In high-altitude areas, rubber tracks offer a number of benefits, including as enhanced maneuverability and traction on challenging, uneven, and hard surfaces. The Indian Army is developing a 25-ton Zorawar light tank, designed for high-altitude operations. The tank, named after 19th-century Dagra General Zorawar Singh, is designed to navigate steep mountains and cross water bodies, and is set to be inducted by 2027. For the Indian military personnel positioned in Ladakh near the Chinese border, the development of the Zorawar light tank represents a major breakthrough. The rubber track system of the tank and other features will help improve the Indian Army's ability to fight in mountains. The Biden administration has stated that despite worries about its connections to Russia, India will remain a vital ally for the US. During the two days of the 22nd India-Russia annual summit, which has been keenly monitored by the West in light of the Ukraine war, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in Russia. Prime Minister Modi informed President Putin at their meeting on Tuesday that peace initiatives cannot be successful in the face of bombs and bullets, 
and that a military solution to the Ukraine crisis is not feasible. Speaking separately on Tuesday, the State Department and Pentagon spokespeople addressed inquiries about Prime Minister Modi's visit to Moscow and India's relationship with Russia. India has been open in its special and privileged strategic partnership with Russia and maintained the momentum in the ties. India has not condemned Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022 but has consistently pitched for a resolution of the conflict through dialogue and diplomacy. A plan to launch a cargo mission to the International Space Station ISS, by the end of the decade is being considered by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, which is making a significant advancement in space research. This bold project, which is presently being discussed with ISS partner nations, represents India's increasing capacity and ambitions in the field of human spaceflight. Although the cargo mission's exact specifications are still being worked out, it is most likely a trial run for India's much more ambitious Gaganyan program, which intends to launch a crewed voyage into space. ISRO can obtain important experience in spacecraft design, docking protocols, and the crucial logistics needed for extended space missions by taking part in ISS cargo flights. The success of the ISS mission hinges on collaboration with partner countries like the US, Russia, Japan, Europe and Canada, strengthening international partnerships and fostering future scientific collaborations. ISRO's cargo mission to the ISS, involving the LVM-3 launch vehicle, is expected to demonstrate India's technological prowess and its goal of becoming a leading player in human space exploration, if successful. That's all from YKS Team for now. If you like the information, then please do share and give a like. Thanks for watching.